Hi everybody, hope you're doing marvellously well. I'm here at Focal with Olivier, how are you? I'm very good and you. Now, Focal, one of those manufacturers that make everything themselves pretty much. Everything is built here, designed here. You're about to celebrate a 40th anniversary. Exactly. This year? This year, absolutely. It's amazing. So um, we're going to go in and start with what? We're going to look at driver design and building. Twit, you tell me. First, I'm going to show you how we built the membranes. Okay. Once we've got the membrane, we'll see out how they are assembled with the drivers. And then uh, I will show you how we assemble those drive units onto the cabinets. And then we've got the final assembling and the quality check. Well, let's get going. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. Let's go. <laughs> This is where we form um, the raw cell cones. So we start with uh, you know, some layers of like, you know, different thicknesses. And this is to make the W sandwich cone structure. Uh, as you can see, we've got all those molds here. So these ones are the latest ones for you know, the M-shaped cone. And so all we need to do is just uh, heat up those uh, resistances. Oh, fantastic. And so as you can see, it's already uh, pretty solid, uh, even without the fiberglass yet. Then we just use like some uh, molds again where we will put glass fiber on top and bottom of the foam. It looks easy when you see it, but when you try, uh, it, like, it's, it's quite tricky. Is that heating it? Exactly, yeah, just so that it, you know, it will uh, be more flexible. More malleable. Exactly. Yep. Perfect. Once this is done, they yep. will all move uh, to an oven for yep. about 10 minutes. And when they come out of the oven, we just need to uh, laser cut them and they're, they're all good to go. So now we'll just uh, glue the, the surround. And as you can see, this is done like proper manually. What is that material? Yeah. And then just the rubber. It's rubber. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful. Good, done. Here we will just um, add the, um, the spider and the voice call. Um, onto this uh, membrane. All this uh, assembly with the spider and the voice call is ready to, to go onto the next step of the line. So here, this uh, gentleman, bonjour, will glue the motor units together and then uh, fix them onto the chassis. So you can see also uh, using, uh, once again, hands and machines. It's impressive. Yeah. 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 We arrive at the measurement stage. So we have you know, a high and a low tolerance limit for, for each driver. Oh, I see. And so the first test with the sweep will tell us if everything is good. But that presumes is the chamber down there, though, because the driver's facing into Absolutely, the... Absolutely, yeah. 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 So the, the cham chamber with all the foam is inside. Yeah, every driver is hand tested. There was the proof. Okay, so this is the final stage. This lady who will uh, listen to every single driver and also do a check, a visual check, as well as the listening check. But yeah, it's always very important to, to have a human, you know, Absolutely. just to, to checking visually and acoustically. And once they get out of this box, we are, you know, very confident that the driver is absolutely fine. So let's uh, move now to check the tweezers out. Marvellous. Après vous, off you go. <laughs> so this is pure aluminium. And here we are doing a thermal forming, as you can see. So it's going up to about 270 degrees Celsius. Okay, so here we are just literally um, gluing the surround, which is also the spider for Twitter, onto the membrane. And then once again, the soldering on the terminals. Beautiful. Okay, so now we are just assembling the motor units, the small magnet systems onto the chassis. And as always, the glue and the activator so that it's nice and clean and it dries off quickly. Uh, here, like first thing, she just solders the wires onto the, the terminals and then adds the grill. And then it's down, done, ready to go. So we've seen how we built the drivers and now we, we will see how we put them into those cabinets. Okay, so here we, they just um, got the, um, the crossover and the cables ready inside already, so this is the first step. 
What kind of price range are these uh, high price speakers? So these ones are, you know, about um, 600 a pair. Oh, okay. So like more affordable kind of high price speakers. Yeah, right. absolutely. So this is um, the start as well as the end of the whole factory. So this is where we re receive the raw material, the MDF, very high density. And then we will get the finalized cabinets uh, right here, which can go back in the trucks. Great. So delivery and shipping out. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. How many different speaker cabs do you make here? We make all the high-end stuff yep. with roughly about 25 models. Wow, a lot. Yeah. This machine um, works so 16 hours a day. Uh -huh. So the, there are 40 employees here, yeah. and they work, you know, uh, they rotate eight hours each. So which means this machine in one day does the work of actually two days. So technically it's 27 years old, but you can double that age right. yeah, for this machine. <laughs> here we will assemble all the parts that have been worked on previously. And this section is actually the section where we have the most manual work. As you can see, everything is just, you know, painted with the glue and just using some tape to hold them together. And then we will dry them for 24 hours on the side over there. As you can see, we've got uh, six trolleys that are ready to go in this room to get a layer of uh, polyester. And so this will uh, get it ready to be painted yeah. afterwards. So if we don't put the polyester, the, the, oh, the paint okay. won't stick properly. Ah. And so it will help for the... Like an undercoat. Exactly, yeah. yeah. As you can see, um, here we've got two ladies working with very fine sandpaper. So the, the work is really done by hand. Once the, the process is done, we get a perfectly smooth surface. So we just saw this room for the polyester application. And we've got a very similar room here that is used for two layers. The first one is for the paint. The second one is for the lacquer. And so similarly, we apply the two layers and then we open the curtain and it can cook in the room next door. So here we arrive at the last stage where we just do the packaging. So as you can see, first we will protect all the cabinets properly like this and then we will put them in you know, these boxes that will go this week to the factory in Saint-Etienne. So the trucks leave on Tuesday and Thursday, which means they arrive directly and the next day people can start assembling the drive units already in the cabinets. So now we are in the museum of the Pro Audio and I will be happy to introduce to you all the lines that we have. Starting with the Alpha series here, with the Alpha 50, 65 and 80. So here we are all on class AB amplifiers and we have some polyglass for the woofer material and then pure aluminium inverted dome tweeter. Then we move on to shape. So with the shape 40, the shape 50 and the shape 65. So this is aluminium and magnesium alloy with the M-shaped dome tweeter. On shape, which is completely made in France, we've got the flux membrane, fiberglass, linen and fiberglass. And on the shape twin here, we have two five inch woofers. The bottom one works from 40 Hertz to 180 Hertz. The top one works from 40 Hertz to four kilohertz. So now we reach the high end stuff with the Solo 6, the Twin 6. So here we are on the most high end stuff with the W structure sandwich membrane, which is, you know, fiberglass, foam fiberglass, and the beryllium tweeter. And this allows us to get a tweeter that will go to 40 kilohertz, effortless with, you know, no fatigue and uh, no distortion. So Olivier, where are we? So here we are in the listening room for the home. So we use um, the, this room for the hi-fi speakers. These are heck of hi-fi speakers, that's all I can say. This is a, yes, wow. the flagship of the hi-fi, the Grande Utopia. Okay, so still with the beryllium tweeter and the W composite material for all the drive units. <laughs> I dealt with all the issues You might say I 
James Bond. <laughs> 